So the Big 12 is going to be expanding. They're going to be adding BYU, Bremen Young, Houston, UCF, and Cincinnati to their conference. And I think that by adding these programs, it's going to make the Big 12 a better conference compared to how good it was when he had Texas and Oklahoma before they depart for the SEC. Because there's too many people that I see on social media saying that the Big 12 might as well be considered a Power 5 conference or this conference just took a giant hit. And it kind of irks me because, yes, losing Oklahoma is a loss. Because Oklahoma has been pretty much the best team in the Big 12 for over the last couple of seasons under head coach Lincoln Riley. I understand that. And I also understand that Texas and OU both bring in a lot of revenue compared to the other teams in the Big 12. So revenue-wise, this is a huge loss. But from a on-the-field perspective, really only losing Oklahoma is a loss because Texas has only won 10 games once this past decade so it's not as if texas was a powerhouse in the big 12 and another thing is that we look at texas for what they could be we always say man if texas can finally get the right head coach they can finally end up getting in that championship conversation so if we always look at texas for what they could be why aren't we able to look at UCF, Cincinnati, BYU, and Houston for what they could be, especially UCF? UCF is right smack dab in the middle of Central Florida, Orlando, Florida. You have Disney World. You have a whole bunch of vacation spots. If UCF can really take advantage of this move to the Big 12, I really feel that UCF has a great opportunity to start emerging as a really great football program in this conference because they haven't really been too bad. They have a couple of 10-win seasons over the past decade. Remember when they beat Auburn in one of the New Year's Six Bowl games a couple of years ago and they claimed themselves as the national champions? Kind of weird, even though they didn't really win the national championship that year. But I believe that they were the only undefeated team in college football. So UCF is a solid program. And I definitely feel if the move to the Big 12 with them having the opportunity to get even more revenue is going to multiply by three. So that's going to give them more money to put towards recruiting, improving the athletic facilities. And remind you that UCF currently has the largest campus in the United States. And then you look at Houston. Houston, same thing with them. They're in a really good location. They're in Houston, Texas. And we already know how much football runs in the state of Texas. We already know how much money gets put into these football programs in Texas. Look at TCU, Texas, Texas Tech. I don't know what it is about Texas. But you Texans natives, y'all love you guys some football down there. And there is a lot of money that gets put into these football programs in that state. So with Houston, they have the opportunity to have really great recruiting classes with the fact that they're going to end up getting more revenue. So if they can increase the recruiting budget, I think that it's only a matter of time before we start seeing Houston have some top 25 recruiting classes. Then you have Cincinnati. You know, Cincinnati is the only group of five program to make it into the college football playoffs. And they just put nine players into the NFL in this past year's NFL draft. And Luke Fickle has pretty much emerged as a top 10 coach in college football. Cincinnati has had multiple 10 win seasons over the last decade. They had a couple of nine win seasons as well. So I definitely feel that the Big 12 got better overall in the sense that now you have more quality football programs compared to what you had when you only had Texas and OU who are running things from a money standpoint. Because outside of money, I don't really feel that losing Texas is a big loss when we're come to when we're talking about the productivity that Texas has had on the field. And that's what I don't really understand understand is that people harp on the fact that these are formerly G5 programs and whatnot. I understand that. But I mean, if you're going to knock those teams for not playing great schedules or not being able to be great 
um, opponents, then I think you kind of have to hold Texas up to that same standard because Texas has had multiple losing seasons. When When is the last time Texas has truly been relevant? Honestly. You get what I'm saying? So I don't really think that this conference got worse. Only loss I think is huge is OU. And I'm going to say it one more time. I'm not talking about the money aspect of this. I'm talking about the performance on the field. Texas hasn't did deadly squad in the last decade or so. So for this conference, you have a lot of teams that have much potential to not only build themselves up and continue to expand their facilities and their football programs, but these could become some really good football programs. And I definitely think that Houston and UCF could become juggernauts as long as they have the right coaching staff in place and they allocate the money properly the way that they should. Because Houston is already in the state of Texas. Texas has some of the best high school football players year in and year out and we already see that texas gets a big chunk of them so if houston can end up stepping up their game and texas continues to struggle i think that there's a great possibility that we could see houston end up taking a good amount of that texas talent that always ends up going to longhorns and bringing that in for themselves and they also have a better opportunity of being able to keep more highly touted players in the state of texas so I think for Houston and UCF, they are the two programs from this expansion that have the most potential to end up growing and to end up becoming juggernauts. And I think for UCF, you already smack dab in Orlando, which Florida as well is really um, great when it comes to producing great football talent in the state of Florida. And on top of that, if UCF ends up becoming better that's going to help keep more in-state talent in the state of florida because if you look at all of these national championship teams the clemsons of the world ohio state alabama a good amount of them if you look at their roster some of their best players have came from the state of florida so imagine if ucf can finally get the ball rolling and they can finally start being consistent I think for UCF, and they can end up hoarding some of those four or five stars, they could possibly end up being the best football program in the state of Florida. Because right now, college football, when it comes to the Sunshine State, isn't really all that great. Nobody really has a stronghold on this state at the moment. FSU is still down. Miami isn't really down, but I mean, they haven't really been what they used to be back in the early 2000s, the 80s, and the 90s. The Gators are kind of down as well, in a sense. So UCF, by joining the Big 12, has a great opportunity to end up overtaking some of the other Florida schools for the title as the best football program in that state. I'm not saying that it's going to happen, but I'm saying that there's a good possibility that it could happen. And then the Big 12 also has Oklahoma State, Baylor, Iowa State. Those are two programs that have kind of been a little bit on the upwards. Oklahoma State has always been really solid under Mike Gundy. Baylor is now starting to turn things around with head coach Dave Aranda, who's coming off a Big 12 championship. Iowa State has been really consistent over the last couple of years. I think West Virginia definitely could end up being a team that could end up turning things around. You also have Texas Tech. A lot of people are really high on Texas Tech and what they potentially could be over the next four or five years. So the Big 12 Conference, in my opinion, I don't really think they got worse with the losses of Texas and OU from a football sense on the field because on the field outside of Oklahoma, Texas hasn't really been anything to write home about. And I think that Cincinnati also is a team that has already been competing for national championships. They've already been in the college football playoffs, and they already have started to bring in a couple of highly talented recruits over the last couple of years. So now if them going to the Big 12, they can sell themselves and say, hey, we're a Power 5 conference now. Listen, we have legitimate shot at being able to make it into the college football playoffs year in and year out. Plus, you're going to give Cincinnati more revenue and more money. And this is a team that has already already made it into the playoffs once you get what i'm saying so for 
the Bearcats, as long as Luke Fickle stays put in Cincinnati, I definitely think that this is another program that can end up being really fantastic in the Big 12. I think that the Big 12, even though they do take a loss from a revenue standpoint, I think that they just improve their conference overall because now you have more teams that have potentials to in the next four or five years to build themselves up and then you're going to have a conference that has more depth that's the word i've been trying to find depth they have more depth now and you guys let me know how you guys feel because this is a topic that i think that too many people have been one-sided about i don't think people are really being fair to the byus of the world and byu has a pretty underrated fan base you talk about some of the most loyalist fan bases in college football BYU fans definitely have to be up there it's a reason why their stadium six like sixty three thousand. it's not a coincidence it's not a coincidence that they have 63k fans that are in the stands year in week out you get what i'm saying so imagine what ucf and houston could do in this conference they're already in a really good location geor- geography wise especially ucf so let me know how you guys feel about the Big 12 expanding, adding in BYU, Houston, UCF, and Cincinnati. Do you guys feel that this conference just got better? Or do you feel that it would take a hit once Texas and OU leave for the SEC officially?